What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my P-Bird mod playthrough for Final Fantasy X. We're on part number 39 right now and uh, guys I, I hope you're all happy because I am probably going to get kicked from Final Fantasy XIV while recording this video because uh, unfortunately I have ran out now of pre-recorded videos so I'm having to do this one today well basically a couple hours just before you guys are gonna see it so uh, yeah yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna sit in queue how in order to make this video it's all right though I don't mind oh I do mind about the ambush though I do mind about the ambush Ooh, you know what I'm gonna fl no cuz I need to capture that don't I no I've already caught one actually. I've already caught one it's fine we can we can flee that we can flee just like I can say a big big thank you to all of my lovely patreons and YouTube members guys thank you all so so very much for all the support it really means a lot and it helps the channel out tremendously so a huge huge thank you to everybody on screen right now and of course if you want to get your name listed up here along with all of these beautiful bastards then consider taking a look at the patreon or youtube membership links down below in the description and wow another ambush okay we're really we're off to a good start we're off to a really really good start I really hope I don't get. Well, saying that, it doesn't matter if I get a behemoth. I've got, I've got first strike with Tidus anyway. So we should be. We sh Wow. For it. Okay. No. P bird. P bird must have made this so every encounter gives you an ambush. He he must have done. He absolutely must have done. That's literally the only thing I can think of for why we're getting so many here. It's literally the only thing I can think of. Because, I mean, three in a row? Dude, that's that's steep. There's no there's no way of my current speed that these mobs are all outspeeding me like that. Especially considering we've already fought these inside the caves. So, mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say P-Bird's changed something, to be honest. Should be alright, though. We're, we're just gonna flee anyway. Ah, oh, speaking speaking of P bird guys, um, if you guys were following me on Twitter, then you will already know this. But P bird has released the 2.6 e version of the mod, which does of course mean if you haven't got the mod yet, you can go and get it now to play. Or if you want to upgrade from an old version of the mod, that is also now available. All you got to do is go to the how to install video. Uh, I've, I've put the download link in the description and the pinned comment on that video so, so you guys can uh, can go and download it. It's installed the exact same way as uh, as always so if this will be your first time installing the mod then again you know just uh, get the link and watch that how to install video for a quick and easy uh, quick and easy guide and wow another Aeon Soul. I did speak to P-Bird about that by the way for the Aeon and Summoner Souls like why why we're getting them again and uh, P-Bird basically just said it's uh, it's in case people like forget Balgamine exists and uh, and miss them so they can't essentially just completely screw themselves now I can under I can understand why he's done that but at the same time I also don't actually agree with that idea but it's P-Bird's mod so you know he can he can do what he wants although I will I will give my reasoning for not liking it so it's kind of it's kind of twofold. My reason is kind of twofold. Firstly, the only people who are really going to be playing this mod are people who've played ten a lot, and people who've played ten a lot are going to know about Balgamine, because those who haven't played ten a lot probably aren't going to be able to do this. Like I, I simply don't see them being able to get to the first Balgamine fight if someone is playing this mod and they've never played ten, because it's just, yeah, I just I don't see it happening to be honest, you know. But then the second reason, um, honestly, people people might call me a, a bit of a cunt for this reason, to be honest. But it is what it is. So my second reason is, if somebody forgets it, then they should live with the consequences of that. You know, I don't I don't think people should be handheld like that, because that does my nut in uh, in newer games as well. 
where it basically makes it impossible to miss something important. And yeah, I don't, I don't agree with it. I think, I think for a game this old, especially, that if somebody makes a mistake like that, they should live with that mistake. You know, look at look at the mistakes I've made this run where I didn't give Awaka the ten thousand gil. I could have reloaded a save and gone back and done it, but I didn't. I chose to live with it. Same with how I lost the uh, the level one key sphere uh, because I went to. Uh, the agency without getting it on my second run because I died on the first one. I I could have reloaded a save then and gone and got it, but again I didn't. So I just choosing to live with mistakes. So I do I do think that should that should probably be, in my opinion, uh, changed to like actual treasure chests, you know. I think it's I think it's too handholdy for a mod that is designed to make the game harder. That's that's my opinion. That's my opinion. Obviously though it's P Bird's mod, he can do whatever he wants. I personally don't mind either way, you know, I am I am past that point. Ooh. Defender Z. Let's see let's see what he's got. Right, so he's immune to delay. Can I dark him? Let's let's try dark him. I just want to see how much EXP we can get from Right, we can dark him, but it didn't land. Let's try armor break. Uh, I don't know if that landed or not. I have no idea if that landed. Well, we'll soon see. Did it land? It did not land. Dark did, though, thankfully. <sighs> okay. Okay. So, even with dark, that still landed. And it still did so much damage. Do, 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 do. Nobody, nobody saw that. Like I, my intention was to flee the whole time, guys. I promise. Okay, my intention the whole time was to flee. And you know what? I should really probably get Yuna to Holy. I feel like getting Holy on Yuna and Flare on Lulu would be really beneficial for Unalaska. But what I'm, what I'm actually thinking is. I'm gonna try Unalaska at my current like levels and stats, and we'll see how we get on. I'm probably gonna fail because in the last two bosses I relied on shining gems, which I now don't have any of. So that's gonna be that's gonna be out of the question a bit. Oh, I'm gonna have to burn him down, aren't I? But yeah, so that's that's gonna be out of the question a little. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try at my current stats. I'm gonna try at my current stats, and we'll see we'll see what happens. Because I think I think maybe I can still pull out a win, even without it. If I can't, then I guess I just suck. Maybe you know, I guess I just suck. Right, I need a way to kill that guy ASAP. Kimari probably won't do much to be honest. Maybe a waterer will kill it. I'm doubtful, but hey, let's let's try it. No, we were close though. We were close. Oh, he didn't eject me though. That's that's okay. The simple fact he didn't eject me is great. Yeah, it can't be captured, I know, that's fine. Right, I'm gonna take Kimari back out for Riku. Because I wanna I wanna see what I can steal from these. 2600. Eh. Eh. Ooh. Kimari. Don't kill him. God damn it. How did I know that was going to happen? How did I know that was going to happen? I. God damn it. Right, well, he should be dead. Yeah, he's at 7,900 with the crit. Right, I'm going to defend with Lulu. Swap Kimari out for Riku. And steal. Holy water. Oh man, is that all? God damn it! That's not what I wanted to be honest. The bot. Okay, I will. I will take it. I'll take it. Right, Riku's had a turn. Let me bring Yuna in. I should actually really consider getting overdrives. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get overdrives. I need to get overdrives right now. Because we're gonna need them for spec. I was thinking about Unalesca really with Holy. I've still got to get past Spectral Keeper yet. Please. Please. Yeah, come on, come on, Bahamut, please. 
Right. Um, you know what? I'm going to try raise my evasion to try and dodge the hits. Let's see if this works. I just keep you. Wait, is he not going to attack me? Okay, there we go. It hit me. Only 1,200, though. Alright, so that's two reflex. No, three reflexes. Four reflexes. One more. Just one more. That's all I need. Okay, one more. Mm, it didn't give me what I wanted, though. Uh, right, let's try Kyorga. Unfortunately, I didn't get anywhere near as much overdrive as I uh, I would have liked there, to be honest. But what can you do? At least I can fully heal myself. Okay, now he's messing. Now he's messing. I'm just wondering if I should haste him. He will get two turns a lot, though. Mm, boost. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna boost, and then if need be, I can heal. Because I suppose the double turns would allow me to heal and then still boost. We're definitely going to have to have the Eleanor Overdrives for Spectral, though. Because, I mean, even even at the best of times, Spectral on the OG is pretty evil. Like, if you... In fact, let me, let me change what I was saying. So, in the OG, Spectral Keeper is one of those fights where it can go a number of different ways. As long as, as, long as you stay on top of things, it will be okay. But it is one of those fights where a mistake can very, very badly spiral out of control. Like, one one mistake can really develop into a nasty situation. He will always one-shot Aeons. So, Aeons are only going to be useful for, um, for overdrives, basically. So, hmm... Mm. We could, we could get some damage with Aeon Overdrives. Like, that is... We could definitely get some good damage with Aeon Overdrives. How much we get is... I don't know. I really, I really don't know how much we would actually get. But at least I would rather have them than not have them. Because personally... And this, this might actually be... Um, like a bit of a... A bit of a mm, opinion that people really might actually disagree with, but I consider Spectral Keeper to be harder than Seymour Flux in the base game. Obviously, not for a f well, I mean, kind of for a first time playthrough, yeah. But um, Seymour Flux, once you know what's happening, he is just brain dead easy to beat. Whereas Spectral Keeper, as as I was saying earlier, it's it's one of those fights where. It is incredibly, incredibly easy for things to spiral really badly, you know? Right, so let's bring Riku in, because I want to try to get their overdrives up as well. Oh, I couldn't steal really? God damn it. Right, so in that case, let's go ahead and get Shiva's. The good thing about Shiva, though, is she should get her overdrives really, really, really quickly. And in fact, you know what? I'm going to... Uh Speed this up a little for you guys with turbo mode. Uh, right, boost. I mean, 2600, she shouldn't one-shot me. <sighs> Holy shit! Wow, okay, okay. Oh no, this might actually... This might actually be really bad, to be honest. Okay, I... Mm, I've got to be really careful on the damage rolls here, to be honest. I do have to be really careful on the damage rolls. Because it means he has the potential for one-shotting me. He actually has the potential for one-shotting me. Uh, right, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to waste turns with Null Blaze. But I'm apparently immune to that, okay. And immune to Null Frost for some reason. Why? Why have them have the Null abilities if they're immune to it? I don't get it. it makes no sense. Okay, there's Ice Rock Dawn. Dismiss her. I just need him to attack Lulu. That, that's all I need. Once he attacks Lulu, then Yuna and uh, Riku should get some decent overdrives. Couldn't steal any gill. What? God damn. Wow, that really didn't give Riku much, actually. Holy crap. Uh, let's pilfer gill again. 
I mean, it's not a lot, but it's something, right? Well, so we've got two overdrives. And this time I'm definitely going to get Veil for us. I will 110% get Veil for his overdrive for this. Because Veil for is apparently the Aeon that does the most damage for me. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Because, I mean, it's, uh... It's... Oh, what's the... Oh, why am I brain fought in here? It's that. It's it's uh, strength stat. Uh, strength stat, magic stat is lower than Bahamut's. So I'm not really sure why Bahamut, uh, well, why Bahamut's overdrive does so little damage compared to Veilfer. Because when we when we did it against Seymour in Highbridge, it was still higher at that point. But Bahamut did nearly half the damage for some reason, and I don't know why. I really, I really don't know why. So, you know, it is what he says. Oh, I still need one more, seriously. Oh, man. It's like, I, I didn't want to use boost just in case, but, you know what. Right, dismiss that. So, now we just need to do Ifrit and Veilfer. That's all we need to do. I'm going to go back to stealing. More holy water. I don't really need the holy waters, though. What I want are the zombie guards to come. Because from them, I should be able to steal py uh, Pyrefly Purifying Salt, which I can then customize into No Encounter Armor, which I really, really, really want. No Encounters would be amazing, but knowing knowing P Bird, he's already thought about that and already removed the steel. Unfortunately. Just like he removed the No Encounter Armor drop from the Ghost in. Uh, Cavern of the Stolen Faith. Dude, that one, I'm not gonna lie, that one actually annoyed me a little bit because I really wanted to get it. And it is such a rare drop that I don't know, I don't think there's I don't think there's that big of an issue in getting it. Because you already have first strike by that point. Like you can you can get first strike quite easily by that point. So you could always just flee, you know? All all it would do is save you a bit of time, personally. So I kind of, I do kind of wish the new encounter armor was still in, because in my opinion that doesn't break anything. It makes no real difference. It just saves you a little bit of time that you don't have to have a loading screen and then flee for. You know what I mean? But that's that's just my opinion. Come on, give me yes. Let's go. Let's go. Dismiss. Right now we're on to the annoying one, Veilfer, because I don't have any healing on Veilfer. I don't actually have any healing on her. Uh, oh, and I don't think I have the Mega Potions to teach Kyoriga either. Which could suck. Mm, right, time for Twitter, man. Time for Twitter. Let's do it, dude. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. Oh, do I have... Oh, I do have Kyoriga. Oh, I completely forgot. I actually learned that. Okay, that's fine then. Let's hope I don't get one shot here, though. I shouldn't have said anything. I actually, I actually shouldn't have said anything there. Holy crap! Okay, let's just murder it. Let's just murder it. It's fine. Should have probably killed it with Orin, to be honest, for more exp. But it is what he says. Mega potions. Yes, yeah, so I can still farm mega potions here if need be. Thankfully, that's gonna come in helpful. To be fair. Right. Uh. Change Lulu out for Moot for first strike, right? just in case. We could come out for Auron. Let's let's go with that lineup because I really, really need to get Holy on Yuna. Oh, the guards are there. I need to murder that though. I really need to murder that. Uh, Lulu. Let's end this. Yes, let's end this. Water go. Oh, her MP is so low though. Her MP is so low. Uh, shit. Should be fine. Should be fine. As long as, as long as I can kill the armored one, I don't, uh, the armored, the machine, I don't need to really worry too much, to be fair. Water go. There's so much damage this does. 5,000. So, Bahamut still can't actually even one-shot them. At least these guys do pretty low damage. I just don't know about what statuses they inflict. But I need to I need to steal from these for sure. 
Uh, okay, a lot of sixes for the health there. Missed. Okay, fire, no fire heals them. Uh, well, let's change Lulu out for Riku since Lulu has no MP. Steal. Candle of life. Yeah, and uh, they do a thousand damage. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I need to kill one. I need to kill one. Still didn't one shot him though. Shit. Right, I'm gonna have to make a potion myself here so I don't die. Shouldn't die from this. I'm just trying to think, was purifying salt a rare steel or was it a common? I can't actually remember. Only a single candle that time. Mm. Missed again. Hang on. Vulnerable to healing magic and items. Can they not be hit, maybe? Because it says vulnerable to healing magic and items, so... Maybe... Maybe they just can't be hit. Hmm... You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Oren out and I'm gonna put Walker in to see, because Walker has the highest accuracy for me. So as long as as long as Walker can actually get a hit in, couldn't steal anything. God damn it! Right, Walker, attack. Let's see if he can hit him. Right, so they can they can actually be hit. They can actually be hit. So that's that's all right then. I don't need to worry about that. Uh, Walker, do your level air. Uh, no actual gain there. Lulu's got a little more magic defense. Not that important for me, in all honesty. Oh, is that accuracy? No, that's evasion. Mm. How many levels do I need for Yuna? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight levels. Oh, damn. Down, down, down. Oh, wait, no, I need to change their equipment. MP Stroll, where's, where's Lulu? MP Stroll. I need a lot more MP on them. I need a lot more MP on them, for sure. Otherwise, things are gonna get nasty. 10,000 gil. Eh. Eh. Doesn't really do much for me right now, does it? Ooh, shit. Ooh, shit. You know what? I'm going to flee. I'm gonna flee. Not with Yuna though, I'm gonna swap Walker out. Like there's no there's no real point in fighting the Machina, to be honest. I really don't think there's much point in that fight. Wait, whoa 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 what? What? Mandragora, Grendel, and a fallen monk all at once. What the fuck? What? Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This could be next level bad. Holy crap. I need to go for the stone. I need to go for the stone. I'm going to go for the Mandragora because that can inflict some crazy statuses. But it didn't land. Oh shit. What gems, uh, what gems, what items have I got? I mean, I could, oh no, it's only one enemy. I have one shiny gem left, I'm not using that. Petrify, yeah, let's go with Petrify Grenade. Okay, I got, I got the two nasty ones, that's, that's alright. I got the two nasty ones, that's all that matters. Defend, attack. Okay, we got, we got the stone that time, that's, that's alright, that's alright. Ooh, that was dangerous. Mm, Seeker's Targe and Snakehead. I don't really think that's gonna really do much for me, though. But we uh, we can Oh, shit, no, wrong way. Wrong way. We can but try. Because, I mean, Snakehead can have a lot of status effects on it. So maybe it would have something good. I don't know. Uh, where are you, Kimari? Piercing and Poison Touch Nards. Use... Did I just see Rune Veil? I could have swore I saw Rune Veil then. No, I couldn't have done. I absolutely could not have saw Rune Veil. What what did I mistake for Rune Veil? 
Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I didn't have tired of Okay. Uh, actually, what can we steal from him? Luna Curtains. I mean, Luna Curtains could be pretty good, actually. I bet you Twitter's gonna get one shot again. I actually think Twitter would get one shot again. Let's, let's see, let's see. What if Sonic would- wait, how much health was that? No, dead. Dead. Oh man, getting, getting Twitter's overdrive here is not gonna be easy. It is not, you know what, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna flee that. We're just, we're not, we're not gonna get it, I don't think. There's gonna be way too many strong enemies here for me to get Veil for Overdrive. I think maybe if I could get the zombie guards, maybe I could use that. But that's, that's kind of the only thing I can think of that I could realistically use to get it, you know? Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. I suppose, I suppose realistically, I might not even be able to get it from the zombie guards, but I would, I would at least like to hope I could. It just, it all depends on how much damage they're actually doing to me. Because as long as, as long as they hit, like they hit Yuna, so for about 700, I could take two hits and cure her. So I could potentially do it. It's just going to be... It's just gonna be a little iffy, you know. Hey, Brosker. Hey, no, he doesn't. He doesn't have to do it. It's fine. It's fine. Aww. Poor guys, man. Poor guys. Right, 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 right. Let's go for one of the uh, the more annoying sections. To be honest, yeah, the more the more annoying sections. It's not super annoying, mind you. It's just a little annoying because we do have to do the Zanakand Cloister here. And if you're anything like me, you hate the merry-go-round that you have to do. Like, it's one of, in simple context, it's one of the most simple cloisters, but it's also one of the most annoying just because of how long it actually takes. You, you know what I mean? I still think Braval's the worst, though. I do still think Braval is just above and beyond the worst. Oh, we're gonna have... We're gonna have Spectral Keeper in a minute. That's gonna suck. That's really gonna suck, man. Spec... Oh... I'm not looking forward to Spectral Keeper, guys. I am, like, really not looking forward to Spectral Keeper. And you know what? For this, I'm going to turn Turbo off. We're going to we're gonna have to do this one with normal speed, I think, guys. I'm sorry to say. Right, so I need yellow, blue, the two reds, which are down the bottom. Uh, and this one. I need the green, the green here. I'll never understand why it shows us green on the machine, but then blue on the floor. Like I've never I've never understood that. Obviously they can render both colours perfectly fine. So I really don't get why they've got them as different colours. It's kinda it's kinda trolly when you think about it. It is kinda trolly. Right, let's do it man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, oh wait, shit, no, I actually need to press the button first. Don't tell I to push the pedestal in. Well, I will do that after I get the treasure chest. Where is the treasure chest? No, never mind. No, I could have swore there was a treasure chest in here, but I guess not. Oh well, not the end of the world, it's cool. Alright, let's push this one in. We'll do Shiva's first. Two red, two green, two blue. Uh, one of the reds is here. The other two are here and here. 
Shit. There was only two reds, not four. I don't know why I had it in my head there was four reds. No, it's only it's only one combination of reds. Uh, then I need the blue here. Which of the greens do I need? I need this green. Uh, next green I need is going to be down the bottom right. And I need... No, I need the L from here actually as well. Yeah, so I need that L, and then the other green I need is on the other side. Uh, shit, which one is it? It's this one. I tell you what, man. Like, this is one of those, this is one of those puzzles where I will never be able to just memorize all the patterns to the point that I could just, like, push a pedal, uh, push a pedestal in. And then just like run back and activate them all in a heartbeat, you know? I always have to stop and think. I always have to stop and think. I don't know how speedrunners do it. I really don't know how speedrunners do it, to be honest. It's pretty damn crazy. Right, what do we got for this one? What have we got here? Uh, we have two reds, so they're here. The yellow is down the bottom left. Uh, I'm gonna need this red as well. I need this blue actually. When it activates, there we go. Uh, what else do I need? So I've got the three reds, I've got one blue, yellow's down the bottom. I need the green from the bottom and this blue. Alright, so now I need the yellow all the way down here and the green. Okay. Two down, four to go. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. I can't really I can't really make this entertaining. It's Xanakund, guys. It's Xanakund, okay? I'm fairly sure nobody likes these puzzles, man. Nobody likes them. Oh god damn it. Well, it is what he says, guys. It is what he says, okay? We're going to have to come back here later as well and do the uh, the white squares too for anime. Well, at least white squares actually. You know what? No, white squares are easy. White squares are so fast. You literally just come in and they're done, basically. Uh, I need this blue. Which green do I need? Uh, oh, wait, no, I need this green. Right, how many reds have I done? I've done two reds. I need all the reds, actually. All the reds and the blue from the left side. Avoid that one, because that one's green. That one's red. Uh, I need this red as well. And then I need the red here. Uh, blue, blue, blue. One. I had to stop and think for a minute, uh, minute there. Oh man. Right. Three down. Three down. Oh, I hate this cloister so much. What makes it even worse is we're gonna have a goddamn boss battle after it. I am absolutely saving before we have that though. I am absolutely saving before we have that boss battle. Oh wait, no, this is the last one actually, because the ones that I use the spheres for, they just go straight in, don't they? I don't have to do mu uh, music patterns for them. Alright, uh, two sets of red. In fact, I'll get this blue while I'm here. Yeah, I'll get that blue while I'm here. Uh, next red, so that's one set of red done, the blue done. That green's the bottom one, I need another set of reds. Uh... Actually, I need this blue as well. Alright, so blues are done. I need the red from the bottom and the green from the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That should be it. And then we just go do the... Uh, the sphere ones. Alright, let's do the lights first. We need to 
we need to take the lights out, man. It's a little, it's a little too bright, you know. I was, I was drinking last night for my birthday, so it's got a, got a little bit of a, a headache from all the bright lights. So we'll, we'll turn the lights off. We'll turn the lights off. Plus, that also makes it nice and dark, so we can have fun with Yuna and nobody will notice. <laughs> oh man, this is where, this is where I'm gonna get very, very scared right now. I'm gonna get so damn scared for a spectral dude. It's gonna be a nightmare. Hands down, spectral's gonna be a fucking nightmare. Right, what can we do? What can we do? Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to work it through in my mind what we can do for the start of the fight. Um, I mean, I don't have Riku's overdrive, so that's not gonna do anything for me. I think maybe I should have Riku in the party from the get-go, though, for Mega Potion spam, and she's pretty fast. I could also have Tidus in with First Strike, and then I could swap him out to somebody like Walker. Uh, not Walker, Auron. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So if I have Moop, he can swap out for Walker. Um, Riku... She's pretty fast anyway. I'll keep Yuna in. Lulu can have her armor changed. We're going to go for Soundsproof and Stoneproof. Because I definitely feel like he's going to be using a lot of them. Uh, Yuna can go Auto Phoenix, Auto Mad. What do we have on everybody else? Um... Mm. Mm. I mean, that is a pretty good combo, to be honest. Stoneproof and Poison Proof. But I don't actually know what he inflicts right off the bat, so... We're not gonna be... We're not gonna be using them just yet. I don't think. No, we're not gonna use them just yet. We need to, we need to see what he does, first and foremost. Once I know what he does, I can rectify everything. So I can go and change all my armors, if absolute need be. But for now, we're just gonna we're gonna test the waters. I've got Aeon overdrives, so I can get I can get a good chunk of damage done that way. But mm, mm, I'm still I'm still a little hesitant, you know. And I'm gonna have to rotate them around the arena straight off the bat as well, actually, aren't I? I should probably cast haste to go first, though. Yeah, I think I think getting case to go up is gonna be really important. So maybe I should use. Why didn't Mook get first strike there? Okay, that makes no sense, but sure. Sure. Right, what have we got for information here? We have Watch out for Berserk and Silence. Berserk's gonna be horrible to deal with. Attacks all frontal targets when hit. It's capable of countering magical attacks with a body drain, which zaps all forms of body matter. Whoa, what is going on there? Did you guys see that? Vile Beast is definitely a contender. Okay. Okay, well, first things first, let's steal. Let's see what we can steal here. An ether. Eh. Eh. Right, let's unit to move over there. Just so we can we can split everybody up then. Tidus can move to there. Okay, so everybody's separated, so I can dodge his cleaves now. Uh, what have I got? What have I got? What have I got? I mean, probably going to be immune, but let's check. Yeah, he's immune. It does damage him, though. It does damage him. That's so much damage. That's so much damage. Holy crap. Holy crap, dude. This is already all kinds of bad right now, to be honest. Legitimately already all kinds of bad. 
Right, you can come out for Auron. Auron, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna use Banishing Blade, see if we can get full break on him. Right, come on. I got this, man. I got this. We're gonna do this first go, guys, okay? First go. Easy, yeah? I really hope I don't have to go and grind, though. Because that means even longer without playing FF14 right now. Oh, man. 5,000 damage, but immune to full break. Right, so he's, he's immune to breaks. Eh. Yeah. Not nice, not nice. Right, let's heal. I really need to heal. I should probably get haste on everybody. I can use Riku for that. Yuna can barely survive a hit. What? She's dead. Yuna's dead. Mm, 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 mm. Right. Okay, let's get haste up. Let's get haste up. I get haste up and then... Oh, hang on. Who was, who was armor broke then? Aaron was armor broke, wasn't he? Shit. Right. Okay. I don't even know why I did that because it means he's probably just going to die when he gets hit next time, to be honest, with the armor break there. I need to, I need to cleanse that. But I also need to cleanse that. Shit. Right. Dispel, dispel, dispel. So, dispel Auron's armor break. But that's going to remove the haste. That's going to remove the haste. I am a freaking genius, guys, okay? Do not do not question my genius. That was, that was absolutely big brain next level strategy. It was totally on purpose. Well, the Patek came in handy, but now Yuna's berserked. <laughs> Oh, right. Okay, we're gonna make a potion with Riku. Auron can cleanse Yuna. Where are my remedies? Where are my remedies at? Uh, remedy. Let's get that cleansed. Why has Riku lost her haste? Why has Riku lost her haste? I don't get it. It's not been five turns. Does, does his cleave... Have a dispel effect. Maybe, maybe his cleave has a dispel effect. I don't know. It could do. Let's try individual breaks. Probably won't work, but eh, worth a try, right? Yeah, no immune. Immune. And he's cleaving Yuna for that, right? Did that remove her haste? No, that did not remove her haste. That's fine. Uh, shall... Nah. Hmm. <laughs> Probably immune to that, so there's no point. And I don't want to waste it to try it out. Oh, man. Shit, dude. Shit, shit, shit. Well, let's just use a fire gem, I guess. See how much this does. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. Okay. I think it's Aeon Overdrive spam time. Oh, never mind. Yuna died. I probably should have healed Yuna. And we could go berserked. Seriously? Seriously? You're gonna, you're gonna do this to me? God damn it, dude. No. No. Stop. 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 God damn it, dude. Stop, please. Oh my god. Uh, remedy, remedy. Holy crap, right. You know what? I need to I need to overdrive with Riku if I can. Uh, first things first. So let's use Let's use Bahamut. We'll use Bahamut's overdrive. Let's see how much damage this does. We we might be able to get a decent hit in. I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little 50-50, I think. 
As long as we can get a good couple of hits in, we could do a lot of damage, but I don't think we will. Uh, Mega Flare. I was just thinking, should I use Haze? But no, because Spectral's just going to one-shot Bahamut, unfortunately. Only 4,000 damage, dude. What? That's so bad. That is so bad. Uh, he missed though. Okay, interesting. Glyphs up. Wait, has he got nulls? He's got the null elements. Oh. <laughs> uh, shit. You know what? I regret using those shining gems now, in all honesty. I really, I really do regret using them. Mega Potion. I need, I need to heal everybody. Mix. What can I mix? What can I mix? What can I mix? Come on. I've got to, I've got to have something good here. There has to be something good here. Uh, I could do Luna. With... The Shining Fawn. Like I could, I could do them. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Let's do it. Let's see. Mega Null all. Shit, that was the wrong one. That was the wrong one. That is not the one that I wanted to actually use. Crap. 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 That's really not good. That was absolutely one of the most pointless things I've ever done. I literally just wasted that overdrive. I wasted it so very badly. You know what? I'm going to leave Orin in Berserk, actually. Uh, then again, no, I'd best, I'd best not because I might need his turn to cleanse. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to have to cleanse that. Which sucks. But what can you do? Oh, dude, will you stop Berserking me, please? Holy crap. I know Iku's nearly dead. Right, right. Um, I choose an item so Yuna gets another turn. I will remedy the Berserk. Riku can then use a Mega Potion. And then... I don't know if I'll summon. No, I'm not going to summon. I'm not going to summon. Mega Potion. I still can't believe I wasted Riku's Overdrive like that. Holy crap. That was just super, super dumb of me in all honesty. I should have gone for a double HP. Double HP would have been so much better for me. Uh, might as well summon. You know what? Since uh, since bosses are immune to Zanmado, I'm going to summon Yojimbo because I know it really does not matter in the long run. Because even if Zanmado appears, it won't work. If anything, Zanmado will actually just like waste one of my turns. Which will then unfortunately mean the boss will have an easier time catching up. Uh, you know what? Let's go for... Let's go for 69, Gil. The power of 69. Come on. <sighs> 1,700. Well, that was not the true power of 69, Yojimbo. That was not the power of 69, dude. Hmm. Why did he not glyph mine me? I don't get it. Hmm. <laughs> kind of weird. Either way, I'm making him waste his turn. Never mind, there it is. I was just about to say, either way, I'm making him waste his turn, so it's fine. But no, we just couldn't get there in the end. Right, I'm going to Shining Gem with Riku. And I'm going to spam Overdrives. Uh, overdrives, I'm going to spam Aeons with Yuna. When I can, anyway. When I can. Alright, remedy Yuna's confusion. Because Yuna, Yuna's not allowed to be confused, I'm afraid. I probably should heal her, actually. Uh, 
Hang on, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a rest and hope that she uh, he doesn't attack you. And even if he does, Riku will auto revive her with full health anyway because of the uh, the auto phoenix and with having alchemy, it obviously heals double, which means instead of reviving with fifty percent health, they revive with one hundred. Well, there goes my last shining gem, guys. There goes the last shining gem. Oh, and there goes Yuna. Oh, I'm really, really, really gonna regret using those shining gems on Sanctuary Keeper and Seymour, aren't I? I'm really gonna regret it. I kinda wish Riku revived him there, to be honest. Uh. I mean, let's see how much damage a star grenade does. 300. Yeah, not a, not a lot at all. Really wasn't what... Oh, dude, stop, stop attacking me twice, please! That's, that's not nice, okay? That is not nice. It's not fair. I think Auron might be a little too slow. Maybe, maybe I should swap him out for Walker. Hmm... I am, I am thinking we should swap him out for Walker. Wait, which Null did he have? That's Null Water... And I think Null Shock. I don't think he's got Null Ice off. But I've got two turns, so just in case, I'm going to use Blizzard. Just in case. No, he didn't have no ice. That's alright then. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. She got berserked. I can't overdrive. You son of a. God damn it. God damn it. Well, that was a bit of a waste in all honesty. That was absolutely a bit of a waste. God damn, dude. I messed up there. I messed up. Oh, um, can I speed anyone up to get another turn? Hmm. Wait, where are my chocobo feathers? Yeah. No, so no one else can get an extra turn right now. Um. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna have to heal. It's it's all I can do. I'm just gonna have to heal. Whoa, 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 whoa! I just couldn't get a turn to do anything about that. God damn it! Like I couldn't. I couldn't even move him. Dude, can you, can you stop? Dude, can you stop? Please? Can I, am I allowed to get a turn in? Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate you allowing me to get a turn. Holy crap. Alright, let's grant someone on Twitter. We seem to have pushed him through to the next phase. So I want to, I want to see if I can skip this phase. See if we can just push straight through to the next one. So we're going to overdrive with Twitter. Which should... Should, should, should... Do very high damage. Either... Either max or close to max. Because when we use it against Seymour, I think it did like, what, 7, 8,000? 7,000. See, I can I can live with that. I can live with that. It's nearly double Bahamut's though, unfortunately, which sucks. He's got regen. He's got regen. Holy crap. Wait, he just healed by 6,000? Did I did I misread that? Like, did, did, did I actually misread that? Or did he just heal for 6,000? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, shit. I mean, let's, let's try delay. It's not gonna work, but... Yeah, I'm you, and I should have should have known that one. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. And of course, it landed on Yuna. 
<laughs> Stop! Stop, please! Oh my god. Right. I mean, there's no point in overdriving. I really should just change Orin out for Walker, who's faster. Because right now, Orin, Orin just can't keep up. Orin simply cannot keep up. Uh, <laughs> I mean, might as well, I guess. Like, I'm just going to throw everything I have at him. 140. I do more damage with regular attacks. But then Riku's also my healer, and she's really goddamn fast, so. Uh, let's bring Ixion out to overdrive. This should actually make the mines blow up as well. Hopefully, it will waste enough turns for the mines to trigger. Because then, that way, with Orin not being there right now, then it means that they shouldn't kill him. They shouldn't kill him anyway. <sighs> the null shock. Null shock. Ah, <laughs> I need healing constantly. Dude, will you stop that? Will you stop that? Stop healing. Just stop healing, okay? Wow, I'm confused. Oh my god. Uh, I mean, that's an error spark. Why not? Why not? I mean, I could have dismissed and then resummoned with. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I could have dismissed and. Oh, wait, no, I couldn't grant someone because I used that for Veilford. Never, never mind, never mind. Uh. I think this would have been way easier if I didn't screw up on Riku's mix. Hyper Null all did, like, nothing for me. It was just so useless. Uh, let's use an Albed potion. Because that alone will fully heal you in it. <coughs> I'm going to swap R and out. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna swap Aaron out. He's he's way too slow. He's just not doing anything for me like at all. So we're gonna we're gonna take him out, and I'm gonna bring in Lulu. Because even though he counters magic, I don't know. I think it could still work out for me. Right, he does not have no blaze, so this will this will be fine. This will be fine. I just really hope I am not going to need an Aeon Shield later, because if I do, I'm going to be screwed. Alright, let's go. Hellfire, come on. Come on, man. Be, be nice. Be nice. Four thousand. Not a lot. Like, I really, I really have not done a whole lot of damage this fight, to be honest. I really have not done a whole lot of damage. Well, at least we got another hit in before the mine exploded and killed us, so that's fine. up man so broken wow what the shit wait maybe maybe they both had armor break on yeah maybe maybe they just both had armor break so that's not too bad uh, mega elixir no mega potion I do have mix available for Riku I do have mix available for Riku now I don't know what to use though like my mind's my mind's drawing a blank on mixies right now. It's just a complete blank. Uh, I mean, Fargar. What is that Null he's got running right now? I'm gonna go Blizzard because I don't think he's got Frost. Yeah, he's not got Frost. Only two thousand damage though. How much is the body drain gonna heal him for? Six hundred and twenty, and it's stealing my MP. 
That's not that good. I would probably be better off swapping Lulu out for Walker, to be honest. Yeah, I'd probably be much better off for that. And I have no more Aeons, which means Yuna is mostly useless. Let's bring Walker in for her. 700. Yeah. Mm. Well, there goes Lulu. At least the Phoenix now will get her. Right, right. What can we do here? I might try a star grenade mix or something. In fact, what were... What were two wings of discovery? I can't remember. That was something really good, I think, right? I'm, I'm just drawing a complete blank. Mega Mighty G. Okay, that'll, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. That will work. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, do, 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 do. Remedy on Walker to get rid of the confusion. And we have auto life on people now. We have auto life on people now. We have like every buff in the game right now. Only 600 damage though. Eh. Eh. Uh. <laughs> I don't really have anything. I don't really have anything which sucks. This is going to be a very long drawn out fight I think. Yeah, it's going to be a real long drawn out fight. I need to move Walker as well. Which means him and Lulu are going to be hit getting hit together. Which sucks. It sucks. Mm. Right, I need to move Walker. Walker buddy, you need to move, dude. You need to move. Uh, Riku can heal. I can't risk anybody dying. Oh, of course it went on Walker. Of course it did. <sighs> We're just doing no damage. We're doing next to no damage. We're gonna be we're gonna be stuck here for ages, I think, guys. That's even if we can actually break a win out. Cause right now things are not looking promising. They are not looking promising at all. Uh, let me put haste on Riku. Wait, no, Riku's got armor break, so she's probably gonna die. Oh, she has haste, apparently. Never, never mind. Whoops. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. How much damage does Moop do? A thousand. So he does do more damage than Walker. He does do more damage than Walker. I can, I can live with that. If we keep Moop just as basically a sacrifice, just constantly dealing damage, then we'll be fine, I think. Hmm. Or oh, maybe not. How many turns are you getting, dude? How many turns are you getting right now? Holy crap. Uh, can I get Mooper Tune, like, right now? No. Oh, boy. Right, I'm gonna bring Riku out for Walker. <laughs> so little damage, dude. It's so little damage, holy crap. Oh, we are so screwed.
It's like the fire at this point the fire's not even hard, it's just long. Like it really it really isn't hard right now. We are keeping him sorta of pinned down. Hmm. I need to replace Lulu. Lulu's just not really doing anything for me. Uh, Kimari maybe? No, Kimari's probably going to be really damn slow too. And there's the Berserk on Walker. If he cleaves Lulu and Titus, it's game over. Okay, okay, we're still, we're still good, we're still good. Well there goes Lulu. Nobody to auto revive her. Uh, 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 <laughs> Where's Tyrus's turn? How has he still not had a turn? What the crap? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to bring Riku back. Make a potion. I'm actually gonna leave Walker. Berserk though, because he's doing more damage. Berserk. That was a that was a bad idea. It's game over. It's it's. Wait, no, I've got auto life on him. I've got auto life. I just need to wait for auto life to trigger, and then I can cleanse the other one. That's that's all I need to do. That's all I need to do. I just need to wait for auto life. Right, there's auto life on Riku. As long as she doesn't die. Please, no, no! Game over. It's game over. I should have revived. I should have revived Lulu. Instead of healing, I should have revived Lulu. No. This was this was not gonna happen from the get-go for me. Why is this heal getting more potent every turn? I already can't contend with that. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Mega Phoenix. Uh, I need to get Lulu out. I need to, yeah, I need to remove Lulu from the party. I need to bring someone like Kimari in. I need someone like Auron more than anything, but he's too slow. He's just way too slow. Right, Riku, you can move again. I need to bring Yuna out as well to dispel. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Uh... I'm gonna have to have Aaron out. He's the only one who does damage for me, basically. I just need to get haste on him and keep him hastied, pretty much. Yeah, he can he can stay berserk. That's fine. He does more damage when berserk anyway. Uh, Riku, you can haste Aaron. Uh, haste, 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 and then I just have to hope and pray it works. No, because Walker's confused. Shit. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, that's so much damage. I need to get. No, 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 no. That's bad. That's bad. Okay, no, we, we might be okay. I need to get haste on Riku, and she can just focus on healing non stop. Dude, will you stop murdering Riku already? Holy crap. Holy crap, dude. Uh. <laughs> dude, I don't know, man. I don't know. What should I go with? I should heal. I should heal, yeah. 
It's not going to do as much as Riku would with it, but it should at least ensure everybody survives. Dude, stop berserking Riku! I need berserk proof on Riku. Berserk and Confusion are the big bads this fight, it seems. So at least for the next fight, I can prep for that. Because if I don't, if I don't win this, then yeah, I'm going to prep for Berserk. Berserk and Confuse. Uh, let's just attack, I guess. Riku's dead again. Shocker. How shocking. How very, very shocking that was. Oh, Orin's dead because I can't move him. I bet you I'm going to run out of Phoenix Downs at this rate. I'm, pro oh, I'm probably going to have to run all the way back to Gagazette to buy Phoenix Downs. Gagazette or Calmlands. Because I bet you I'm nearly out right now. Once, I think, is still at Gagazette, so I should be able to use his store. If not, then it means I've got to backtrack all the bloody way to Calmlands. Come on, man. Just kill him. Just kill him. Just kill him. Come on, Aaron. Come on, dude. Oh, my God. This right here is why... Uh, why Flare and Holy would have been so good for me. Because I bet you yeah, I could have done just boatloads of damage with both of those. Dude, stop healing yourself, please. And there goes Aaron. <sighs> no, 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 no. The one, no, 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 no. The one person you are not allowed to attack because he's been carrying this whole goddamn fight. No. Do not do anything bad to Walker, okay? Do not do anything bad to Walker. Holy crap. I can't, I can't afford to lose Walker. Yeah, Berserk Aaron. Oh, he confused. That's not good. Oh, man, I need to heal so badly. I need to heal so badly. I'm going to have to heal with Aaron as well, unfortunately, because if I hit with Aaron, he's going to counter attack and just murder me. You know what, if I get another overdrive of Rico, I'm going to put up another uh, Hyper Mighty. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going to do. In fact, you know what, sod it. Slot reels, attack reels. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. There we go. Right, come on. Come on. Please, please be nice. Please be nice. Ah, oh, that was next to nothing. I mean, it was better than his regular attacks, though, so... I'll, I'll take it, I guess. Uh, I can't... I honestly can't think of anything else that I can do. Like, I genuinely, genuinely cannot think of anything else I can do right now. I need to get haste back on everybody. I'm gonna swap somebody for move. Um... In fact, no, I can just use Riku. Check about Feather on Auron. Auron can survive a hit, yeah. Check about Feather on yourself, Riku. This is such a long drawn out fight. We've been in this fight nearly a bloody hour. It's like I get I get making things hard, but right now this isn't hard. This is boring. Because it's, it's literally just the same rotation over and over and over. Right now, honestly, I have no no fear about a game over. And that's pretty bad, if I'm honest. Like, I'm, I'm not scared of getting a game over at this point. I think it's going to... Like, I think I'm going to win this. It's just going to take way too long. Like, way longer than it ever should. Let me try gravity. It probably won't work, but... Yeah, I should have known. But yeah, this is this is just taking way too long at this point. 
And it's not like I can even really do much in terms of leveling because I'm basically already at the end of my grid for everybody. Like, there are a couple that I could get, you know, with... Uh, oh, shit! Right. Uh, I need to move everybody here. I need to move everybody to keep the pathways safe. And if I move Walker over one as well. Yeah, so by moving Riku there, I can ensure that they're all off the uh, the same path, so to speak. You know, so they're not all going to get hit at once. But at least this way, we can avoid the mines. Uh, yeah, I can do one more, that's fine. This should give Riku an overdrive as well, the counter, I mean. Yeah. Wow, Walker nearly died. Holy crap. Well, Walker is probably dead here. Walker is actually probably dead here. Yeah. Just in time for a fresh Mighty God as well. Just in time. I was kind of lucky, if I'm honest. Uh, Oren... You know what? Oren, you can heal. You can heal right now, dude. I know it's not going to fully heal you, but... Eh, right, mix. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to do it again. I'm just going to do it again. It's fine. Mega Mighty G. Right. Uh, attack. 5,000. Okay, nice hit, nice hit. Well, at least Walker took that for Riku. I don't like the idea of him being berserk, though, but it's not its not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Oh, the glyph saps, man. The glyph saps. Dude, stop. Stop. It's like every single turn. Dude, he's like, he's just not going to die. It's like he's just not going to die right now. I really, really wish there was a way for me to check just how much health he had left. Uh, might as well heal, I guess. No point in losing Riku if I don't need to. Are we done? No, we're not done. Mm, I thought that was the win there, and I thought that was the win! Uh, I mean, Poison Fangs. Might as well. I've lost track of how much damage I've done to him at this point, honestly. I have honestly completely lost track right now. Come on, that was a nice crit. No, no, okay. Okay, at least Riku survived though. Which means I should probably heal. Oh! Is this actually what the fights are going to be like from this point forward? Just eat. Dude, this is, this is just penance and years of mass. That, that is all this fight has turned into. This is this isn't hard, it's just long. If this is what the mods turned into, my my opinion of it might change a little. Early on was fun. Early on was really, really fun. But at the moment. There's, there's not a whole lot that's fun about this fight, if I'm honest. There's really not a whole lot that's fun right now. Uh, I'm gonna give Oren haste. Yeah, I'm gonna give Oren haste. Where is it? Chuck my feather. And I tell you what, you know what makes this even worse, guys? You know what makes this even worse? Spectral Keeper can actually drop a level 3 key sphere. And 
He can also drop nine level two key spheres for his rare drop. If we get the nine level twos, that means I need to restart. Because I need that level three, basically. So if I don't if I don't get level three here, uh, well, if I don't get the level three key sphere, I am literally gonna have to uh uh oh whatchamacallit. I'm gonna have to restart and do it all over again to actually get the drop. If I if I do have to do that though, I will literally just do it off camera. Because I don't think you guys want to sit watching me farm this guy for an hour plus. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I did not want Auto Life to proc there, if I'm honest. I really did not want that to happen. Now well, let's get haste back on Horan at least. Uh, I've got to rotate everybody again? Seriously? Okay, fine. Riku can move over one. Walker can move over one. No, I can't. I can't move, Walker. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Right, I need to cleanse Walker. I need to cleanse Walker. I can't believe I didn't even consider that. I can't believe I actually didn't even consider that. Right, since we've cleansed, let's heal now as well. We'll heal. Because Riku's nearly dead. You know, I could have got away with a high potion there as well, actually. Shoot. Right, Walker can move there. I just need to move Auron now. This is taking way too long. Holy crap. Auron's dead. Auron's, Auron's dead. The mine's about to explode, and I don't have time. Like, I don't have a turn with Auron to move him. So, we are a little screwed there. We are a little screwed. <sighs> Come on. I can kill Penance in less time than this. Like I can I can actually kill Penance in less time than this. Uh, than this. That's not even an exaggeration. Get a turn, please. Just please get a goddamn turn. I'm asking nicely because, you know, I kind of want you to move and I also want to do some bloody damage. Riku got confused. Of course she did. You know what? Since... I want to keep Auron where he is. I'm going to move Riku and Walker. Yeah, I'm going to move Riku and Walker back to where they were. Because there's no mines there anymore. And at least that way on Auron's turn, I can just attack. Right, let's put haste on him. I really wish I still had that uh, fantasy potion, to be honest. Yeah, I really, really wish I still had that. Because that would have been that would have been amazing to use on Orin, give him full buffs for big boy damage, you know. Dude, that's so little damage, holy crap. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. This is literally what we're stuck with right now. Like it's not it's not hard. You guys you guys are seeing that I'm having no issue keeping anybody alive or anything like that. It's just annoyingly long. Because we, we're completely in a rotation right now. Like, at this point, I'm probably just going to die if I, like, when I run out of items. That's probably what's going to happen at this rate. How much health does he have? Yeah, people. I don't. I don't know how much half you've given this guy, dude. But it's way too much. This is. This is honestly legit boring AF right now. There's. There's nothing fun or difficult about this fight. 
It's literally just a a slaughter right now. Well, not even a slaughter, because a slaughter would actually be faster than this. Mm. I'm just going to leave Oren where he is, to be honest. In fact, since he's going to die, I'm going to use his overdrive. It's not going to happen anytime soon, is it? No, I'm going to use... Actually, I'll use Orange Overdrive on his next turn, because that'll be when the glyph explodes, killing him. Oh, on! Oh. How is he not dead yet? I don't, I don't get it. How is he not dead yet? I see, it makes no sense to me. It actually makes no sense to me. The water gems seem to do okay damage, so I'm going to start spamming them. I'm guessing he's weak to water. I'm guessing he's weak to walk, uh, water. Oh, don't berserk Riku. Literally, of all the people... Of all the people, man. Right. Well, let's do overdrive. Holy crap, this is boring. Oh, God damn it, man. God damn it. Come on, give me a turn so I can revive Riku, please. Nope, never, never mind. Never mind. So she's just lost all her buffs as well. You know what? I'm going to bring Lulu in. Yeah, I'm going to bring Lulu back in. Now that I know he's weak to water, we're going to start using that. Probably not going to make much of a difference at this point, though, if I'm honest. I still need to use an Ether on her anyway. Well, I can do that with uh, with Riku, because then I can take advantage of alchemy. Providing Riku actually gets a turn. Wait, why did Lulu not revive? Am I out to... No, I still have Phoenix Arms. Why did Lulu not revive her? What? That's that's bullshit. Why why did she not revive them? Dude, why is the boss getting so many turns? Has he got... No, he hasn't got haste on. I don't think. I don't think he has haste on anyway. Use a turbo for no, I'll use a mega elixir. At least that way it fully heals their health as well. Even though Riku is about actually no, Riku's not about to die because I can move her, thankfully. And then I can move her back when needed. Oh, she's berserked! Dude! Just... Oh my god. This is literally Yeez and Mountain Penance right now. That's, that's all this is right now. It's not hard, it's not difficult, it's just long and boring. Remedy Riku. And then Riku can heal, then he can move Lulu, and then I'll do no damage. <laughs> oh, 
I, I can't even laugh anymore. I can't even laugh. Hey, let's use water. Go. Well, at least we did some damage, but Lulu's dead. No, she's not. Okay, that that's all right then, I guess. Yeah, Berserk Arn. I don't really care if he's Berserk. That's fine. I need to heal Lulu, though. Actually, I've got an Overdrive with Riku. I'm going to use a mix. Yeah, I'm going to use a mix with Riku. No, I'm not. I'm going to heal before he murders everybody, actually. Oh, man. Let's move with Riku to there. I need to cleanse or never mind. Never mind. Please not Riku, please not Riku. Okay, that's fine. Yes, do it do it on Auron. Right, so let's do a third one! Dude, I'm just wasting wings to discovery at this point. This is this is such a horrible waste. I'm definitely going to have to split this video into two parts, so holy crap. Right. Watergur. Then Riku's next turn. I'm going to have to use an Aether on Lulu. Oh, and I'm going to have to use... I'm going to have to move Auron as well. 51. So alchemy didn't affect that then, huh? Okay. Dude, how are you not dead? How are you actually not dead yet? What in the actual fuck, dude? People, this guy's got way too much health, man. Like, I, I can't condone how much health this guy has. Oh, great. Now they're all confused. Come on. Come on. Holy fuck. Fuck, thank God for that. Dude, we've been fighting that boss for an hour. An hour we've been fighting that boss for. It wasn't It wasn't even hard. It, like, oh, dude. If I didn't use that water gem, that would have took way longer as well. That, that boss has way too much health. It wasn't hard. We were just stuck in, like, healing and dealing no damage. Oh man, an hour long fight, an hour long fight, that was, that was beyond annoying, and if we don't, dude, if we don't get the level 3 key sphere, I'm going to be fucking mad right now, I'm genuinely going to be mad if we don't get the level 3 key sphere. Right, turbo mode to get through the cutscene, because I am absolutely going to go save, well, providing I don't get the level 3 anyway, come on, come on. Oh, thank Christ. What do you mean? Thank Christ. We actually got the level 3, which means if need be now, I can move Titus, Lulu, uh, Auron. Yeah, I can. Dude, I could move through so many grids right now if need be. Holy crap, save. No. That's, oh my god, that was such a long fight. Sorry guys, I'm I'm gonna have to cut this video into two parts of how long that was. I'm I'm really, really sorry everybody, otherwise it would just take me forever to, uh, to upload and that. But though, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. As always though, everybody, Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.